Hello, I'm Fabio Cairo from clubvini.co.uk and I'm talking to you from my wine cellar at home while we're in lockdown, going through a few of my wines, seeing if we could find something of interest. Now, it's going to be a little bit random because obviously this is only what I have in my cellar. Um, and tonight we're talking about a company called Geographical, a company that I love. We've been working with these guys for a very, very long time. It's a cooperative from Tuscany and they have two wineries within um, Chianti and Castellini Chianti. And it's something that I would love to talk about. I mean, again, like I say, it's going to be a bit random. We're starting off with a Super Tuscan and then finishing with the dessert wine. That's all I had in my cellar. Um, but, yeah, I mean, what two great wines to showcase if you're going to talk about two wines from Geographico. And these guys, uh, as I say, have been a cooperative for many, many years. They've grown in popularity in terms of the farmers and getting their farmers on board. And they really do a good job in terms of making sure that they're um, the farmers, you know, giving quality grapes, making fantastic wine and really good value wine. That is the key point with these guys, is that you, the wines that you're getting are, are really on point price-wise, where you need to be. Actually, the one we're going to be doing tonight is actually a, it got, falls under the Super Tuscan sort of category. And I would call this an affordable Super Tuscan. It's called Ferraiolo. It's a Toscana IGT. So this is 70% Central Vizzi and 30% Cabernet Sauvignon amazing wine really really amazing wine i mean uh, this falls under as i say that the super tuscan category which prices go for things well beyond what i'll be spending on a bottle of wine um but this gives the people the chance to try a super tuscan for a fraction of the price and the quality let me tell you is is there you you have great quality wine here and a fraction of the price of the big super tuscan names and this is why i love this wine i just love how inconspicuous it is you know people haven't really heard of it before you know it's a super tuscan wine from geographical fantastic one give it a go so again you get that intense ruby red sort of color you get that the the cherries coming through which is typical of the sangiovese it's definitely the aging really gives it a little bit more prominent so again things coming starting to come through are things like leather like cacao really starting to it's amazing how you know you if if you'd have closed your eyes and I said I was giving you a super Tuscan and I told you the price of this you wouldn't believe it. But anyway, so we'll carry on. It's a full-bodied wine that is lovely, intense on the mouth straight away, very rounded, nice balance of tannin there. The tannins are really starting to sort of soften out. This is actually a two thousand and thirteen. But the tannins are still there uh, in a nice way. I'd, I'd really enjoy it as it is. That'll, that'll only get better with age and they'll start to smooth out a little bit and be a little bit more uh, pleasant on the mouth. But this is something, again, the persistence is there, the strength is there, the quality is there, all the aromas that you would expect are there with the Sangiovese and the Cabernet Sauvignon. Something I would really, really enjoy. Give it a go if you can. Okay, so moving on. So again, only two wines we have from Geographico. Um, but again... Really, really good wines from Geographico. Um, we're going to a Vinsanto. Vinsanto uh, is very, very popular as a dessert wine. A lot of people know it for the Vinsanto and the Cantuccini biscuits, for dipping the Cantuccini biscuit in. This is, again, you know, can be done. Not a problem at all. Uh, I, I like to do it separately. I don't actually dip it in. I like to keep them separate. I'd like to have a sip of this, then a bite of the biscuit. But this is something that I'd happily drink on its own. You know, a lot of dessert wines come in small bottles. This comes in a 750, so it's actually a full-size bottle. And there's a reason, and, and I think the reason is quite good. I mean, if you because it's not too concentrated. A lot of dessert wines that you get, I mean, some people are fans, some people aren't. Uh, a lot of dessert wines you get can be very sweet and concentrated. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a sweet wine. It's a dessert wine. Uh, but the good thing about this is its drinkability. Let's give it a quick go. So straight away from the colour, you can see it's got that golden sort of yellow amber colour. This is 80% um, Trebbiano and 20% Malvasia. So the Malvasia is really, really gets its sweetness from. And it's, it's so prominent in the dried fruits. So you get the dried fruits, honey straight away. And it's really a pleasant sort of smell. Yeah, as I, as I said before, that I think the, the 
best thing about this wine and why we do so well with it is because it's not too concentrated. It's actually dangerously drinkable wine. You've got to bear in mind, this is about, this is about 16 and a half percent alcohol. Um, but it's something that's dangerously drinkable. You could actually drink this wine. It's not going to be something that you've had a sip and that's like, that's enough. You can have a glass of this. Um, and it's something I'd definitely pair with any sort of pastries. Yes, you've got cantuccini, uh, cheese. Cheese would be great with this. Cheese and vinsanto and any sort of pastries or desserts. But I happily sort of can promote that and tell you to go and try it and get a bowl and see how you get on. But that's it. Well, thank you very much. My name is Fabio Cari from clubvini.co.uk. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.